Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Lunar Flyknit Chukka. Now as you can see, it comes in your standard red and white Nike sportswear box. I'll give you a quick look at the label. It's listed as I mentioned as the Lunar Flyknit Chukka, which sounds like a random assortment of words, but Lunar refers to the Lunar Lawn Cushioning, Flyknit refers to the material that the upper is made of, and Chukka refers to the actual cut of the shoe. Um, the pair I have here is a size 9.5 US. The colorway is squadron blue, squadron blue, and electric yellow. And the retail price sticker is ripped off, but these guys retail for $170 US, which honestly I feel is a little bit steep for this particular shoe, which is why I kind of waited around until I could snag a pair on sale in a colorway that I liked. Uh, but with that being said, like I said, $170 for a pair of shoes that are really intended for casual wear only. Although you could wear it as a performance product. It has the same Lunar Lawn outsole from, I believe, the Lunar Racer 3. It might be on other running models. That's the only one that I'm personally aware of just because I have a pair. It has that flying it upper, which feels absolutely incredible. The quality is great. It has the fly wire. It has all the performance characteristics you could possibly want. And I guess if you really wanted a mid-cut running shoe, this would be one of your best, if not your only option. Option. So if you really wanted a pair, then I guess it's worth $170 if you're going to be using them as a performance product. But as a casual wear product that you're just going to wear once in a while, um, just for casual use, again, I think $170 is perhaps a little bit too steep. Uh, but like I said, you can always snag them on sale every once in a while. So if you guys are interested in purchasing a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. There'll be a link in the description. You'll find the high quality images of my pair here. Just to give you a better idea as to how these actually do look in person, some of the close up details that you won't necessarily find anywhere else online and also you'll find buy it now links to all of the uh, current available colorways if you are interested in the pair so we'll be sure to go ahead and check that out again the link is down below in the description so as far as what this shoe is all about it's the flying it chukka so it's a mid-cut kind of casual wear shoe made from flying it and also featuring nike's lunar lawn foam for the cushioning on the outsole. Um, it's a very, very comfortable shoe, I can tell you that. And I'm very happy to have gotten a pair. I think that uh, it really shows off the the simplicity and really how nice flying it can actually look. Um, it does look like a knitted shoe and they make it very kind of exaggerated in the colorways with the flying it chukka. You can see this one features that electric yellow and squadron blue and it's kind of all intertwined. It's mixed in one and it makes for a very, very unique visual look to the shoe. You can see that the little kind of um, strands where the flywire run through are electric yellow on the outside and on the inside they are more of a lighter blue color not necessarily squadron blue squadron blue would be featured in the laces as well as the tongue more of a navy blue type of color but one thing i can say in regards to this particular colorway is that it's not as bright in person as it looks in the online pictures and hopefully that's coming through for you guys today in today's video but overall i just like the two combination of colors they have throughout the upper it gives it a very very unique look and it really shows off the the complex yet simplistic design of flying it. I really like this material. It's extremely comfortable and to me just looks really, really cool. You can see how you're painted on Nike swoosh in squadron blue on both the lateral and medial sides, which we commonly see on flying it products. Like I mentioned, the tongue is also made from flying it in that squadron blue color. You have your uh, little kind of pressed on tag right here on the top where it says Nike flying it Chukka, the name of the shoe. You can see the fly wire peeking through is that electric yellow color, a little bit more vibrant than the rest of the electric yellow on the shoe, I must say, though. Um, the one thing that I really kind of have a complaint about in regards to this shoe are the laces. I'm not crazy about these kind of rounded, almost cheap seeming laces for a shoe that costs $170. I would have much preferred the ribbon laces, which I know I've said in the past, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I think visually it'd look a lot better on this shoe or just any kind of flat style lace I think would have been a lot nicer looking than this, like I said, chunky, almost cheap seeming uh, kind of rope lace they've put on here. Um, but other than that, I really like the shoe. Uh, you have at the back a little squadron blue kind of pull tab right there, which kind of gives it that kind of running vibe. It's not something that necessarily needs to be there, but like I said, it does make it a little bit easier to put on as well. And you can see the inside of the shoe does not have really much of a liner at all. There's a bit of a liner right here at the very back of the heel, just so you're not wearing away at the fly knit and there's something soft there, just provide a little bit of extra comfort. But the rest of the shoe is pretty much exposed fly knit. So it's kind of the purest form of flying it shoe that we currently have right now uh, even in comparison to the running models that are going to have a lot more bulk in the heel area as far as padding is concerned versus what you're getting with the flying it chukka as far as the insole is concerned it is fully removable i'll give you guys a quick look at that um, and again it's it's exactly what you would find in some of the running models mesh liner on top 
volt yellow, not volt yellow, sorry, electric yellow in color with your Squadron Blue Nike branding. And it's an ortholite insole green in color, exactly like what you're going to find, like I said, in most of their running models. So nice and soft, really good cushioning provided from this particular insole. And as far as the outsole is concerned, in terms of color, it's not white. It's more of like a an off-white, almost like uh, eggshell white type of color. It has like a yellowish tinge to it is kind of what I'm getting at here. Almost a slightly aged look. And it's something that actually like, again, one of those elements of this particular colorway that I was not expecting until I actually saw the shoe in person and held it in my hands. So as I mentioned, this is the outsole from the uh, Lunar Racer 3. At least that's where I know it from. I believe it was on some of the Flyknit HTM models as well, which were super limited and actually very, very valuable. But they included it on this particular shoe. Um, it's very, very light. Lunar Lawn is extremely soft, kind of responsive cushioned foam, and it feels really comfortable with this particular shoe, especially for everyday casual wear. And you can see on the, uh, on the bottom of the shoe, there's very minimal rubber, which keeps it very nice and light. It's one of the lightest models, uh, one of the lightest shoes that I've personally ever worn. And uh, it's actually surprisingly light when you hold it in your hands you can see all the black areas are actual rubber whereas the areas that are just kind of uh, exposed white are just solid foam there's no um, extra material there so there's just enough rubber under your feet uh, to where you're going to have enough grip when running or even just walking around it's not going to be an issue or anything like that um, and that's pretty much it as far as the shoe is concerned guys that's all the details that you need to know about the shoe and move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look and of course what the sizing is like all right, here's a look at the Flying It Chukka's on feet with a pair of shorts. And as far as mid-cut shoes go, these are very well suited for the summertime for the simple fact that they're very light, they're extremely comfortable, and the Flying It material is very breathable as well. So even if it's a little bit warmer outside, you're not going to be too hot wearing something like this. They're just nice and light and a, a good everyday shoe if you ask me. And again, going back to that $170 price tag that these things have, if you're going to wear them all the time, then I suppose it is worth it if you really like a particular colorway that you want to buy it at retail price pretty much right away. Um, I definitely do see the novelty with this particular shoe. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want to wear this as a performance product, it definitely will perform the part as well. It's got the flying it upper, the lunar lawn cushioning, and it just fits really, really well, as you would expect from any of the high quality flying it products from Nike. As far as the overall fit and comfort is concerned, they fit really, really nicely. Of course, it's a mid-cut shoe, so the lacing goes all the way up. It's got the fly wire. I prefer to wear them unlaced. I just like how it feels and prefer how it looks overall. But you can lace them up. They have a nice snug fit. They wrap your foot really closely. And in terms of width, it's going to be suitable for pretty much all foot types. It's not overly wide. It's not overly narrow. It just fits uh, really comfortably. And the sock-like kind of feel of the Flyknit, like I said, just feels very natural. The underfoot cushioning from the Lunar Lawn is great. And in terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 US. And the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. So for the most part, I'd recommend ordering true to size as well if you're planning on getting a pair of these for yourself. So that's pretty much it as far as what they look like on feet with a pair of shorts. And to move on next to what they look like on feet with a pair of pants. All right, here's a quick look at the Flying It Chukka's on feet with a pair of pants. And overall, I think that this is just one of those shoes that you can wear with pretty much anything pending that you get the right colorway. This one is going to be a little bit more vibrant. It's kind of different because it does combine like a bright yellow with a navy blue. So it is somewhat unusual, but again with flying it, it feels great, it's extremely comfortable, but it also looks the part. It has a very premium vibe about it, especially in the form of the flying it chukka where it's a more simple pattern where they're kind of just going with complexity of changing colors in the actual upper, which to me just looks really, really good and has that premium vibe. Definitely a great shoe as an everyday casual wear um, sneaker. And to me, I think this is one of those shoes that I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer, as well as even this fall, just because it's so comfortable and it definitely does look the part. All right, guys, that's it for my review of the Nike Lunar Flyknit Chukka. Big fan of the shoe. I do think it's a little bit overpriced, but the quality is definitely there. The comfort is definitely there. I just love the visual simplicity of the shoe, along with the complexity of the actual construction of the upper, which is, of course, Flyknit. So again, if you can find these on sale, or even if you just really like the shoe in a particular colorway and are willing to pay the $170 price tag that Nike is asking for, to me, these are well worth the investment and just a really good shoe overall. Overall. So again, if you guys want to check out the high quality images I took myself, just to get a better idea as to how these actually do look in person, or you're just interested in purchasing a pair, be sure to check out the review page on my website. You'll find those images as well as the buy it now links to all of the available colorways. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. 
If you have any questions regarding this shoe or any suggestions for other products you'd like to see featured on the channel, be sure to leave those suggestions down below in the comment section. I'm always open to hearing what you guys want to see as far as content is concerned. And other than that, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews on all the latest and greatest sneakers. All of my social media information is down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.